Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dialer's Twi'lek Tactics. Uh, Rise of Heroes, I mean, Rise of Heroes is dead. Endless Battles is back again for June. And as such, I got guide videos. Uh, you've probably seen the other one by now. I don't know. They're both going to launch at the same time. But in this video, we're going to be going over the Spider King's Lair. If you got to 1610 in Twilight Lands this month, this is the same fight. They kind of recycled this fight. That fight required Jaina. This one also kind of requires Jaina. Um, actually, you didn't even need Jaina for Twilight Lands, but you definitely need Jaina for this one. Now, we're going to go over the best teams possible for you to use in the Spider King's Lair in order for you to get the highest points possible so you can get all the juicy, juicy bingo rewards. I hate saying bingo rewards. What am I, 65? So let's go directly to the footage. All right, so you recognize this? It's the same thing, although these don't these don't constantly spawn. Um, but the, the premise is the same. You got to damage, uh, do as much AoE damage as possible, and the boss is just going to sit here and hurt you. Um, the boss does not have a health bar. You can only attack the ads. Now, the team you want to use is you want to use Nord. Those of you that have Nord. And then you want to use Luke. And you want to use Jaina. You want to use Rez and Falvia. Okay, why do you want Falvia, right? Why Why would you want Falvia? Well, let's just go over here and I'll show you why. Because these are boosted characters. So Eternal Evolution said that they wanted to make these fights more, uh, give these fights more variability or variety for people instead of just locking you into three heroes. Now, the problem with that is, is that you got three SSS and you got three elites. Now, obviously, the elites are not going to be as good as the uh, uh, the SSS. So really, the, they just they they didn't give us options. They just gave us uh, weaker characters that we could use. So mind-boggling. But uh, that's, this is the reason why you're bringing in Falvia is because you don't actually need a healer for this fight, and Falvia. Uh, is actually one of the best elites in the game and she can do uh, she's gonna assist all your other energy heroes whenever they do an AoE and she's gonna pump out the most damage so if you're thinking of using Ravenna you can't because she's not gonna get a, give you any bonus she's not gonna contribute any points to your final score so use these four if you don't have Jaina then use Nagrama and Omar use these characters to get the highest points possible okay that is why we're using Felvia now prototypes uh, for the middle and the right prototype, just use your best ones. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because your characters, uh, you don't need a healer. They're not going to die. Unless they're really, really under-evolved, your heroes are not going to die. You can kind of see the gear sets above the heads of the heroes, but we're going to go over that at the end of this video. Uh, I like Luke over here, and I like Jaina down here. Why? Because I like to make the ads follow Nord, and I'm going to group them up so that Jaina can hit them all. Now, uh, for the first slot prototype, if you have... A maxed solar flare or a very like I have a level two solar flare not gonna use it uh, vision stones actually gonna supply you with more damage I've tried I tried flowing rune which you can use as well if you don't have a good vision stone um, but since uh, I do have a six level 60 maxed vision stone that's what I'm gonna use but keep in mind solar flare is the best if you have a very high level solar flare I'm thinking like 39, 49, 60, right? Grace, obviously, is going to be your commander. Now, you're going to want to play this on manual. Oh, well, might as well just fire it up. And uh, the strategy is, except for Falvia, you can leave Falvia on auto. So the strategy is, is uh, hit as many ads as possible with the AoE. Now, you see how this fight, you kind of, kind of, sometimes Rez likes to do stupid things. At least this time, he went straight backwards this is ideal if he goes over here like if he just takes off to the left just restart the battle because it's going to save you a headache you in order to keep make these ads follow nord and to group up around nord you need res to get the hell out of the way he needs to get way over here he wants to go back here to the very back we want him nowhere near aggro range of these ads so keep that in mind that is the first point of strategy after turn everyone onto manual except for Falvia. And then here we go. So I got it on one time speed. You want to do that as well. So now try, make sure you move the bar. You see there, I was able to pick up this left side ad with Jaina. Hit as many as possible. 
Da, 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 there we go. We hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hero or eight enemies. That's ideal. And then with Nord, you see how I'm kind of angling them this way? I'm kind of angling this way. I want to get Nord to about here, right? Right above these two, because then these two ads are going to move with them. And they're going to be up here. And Jaina is going to be able to hit them all. So this fight does take some positioning. And is there is RNG in order for you to get that positioning. So you see I'm kind of angling them this way. And there you go. Even more that way. And then res. So obviously use res on Jaina. If Jaina is under say 40% uh, energy. Um, don't use, I wouldn't use res on anybody else because Jaina gets her energy back really, really quick. Just hold res until, uh, she's ready. So there, even now I'm able to hit, I think all of the ads with Jaina with the current positioning. Uh, yes, I can hit every single ad, but I don't want them moving and running away. So I am going to still move Nord over to the immediate, to the right of the big, big boss. So there you go. See how Jaina just went. And then I immediately popped the res alt. To get her back up to full. I wanted to, to waste no time in uh, or downtime in Jaina's ults. Because Jaina's ults are, are what's going to be giving you the majority of your damage. I'll show you guys the damage meter uh, near the end of this fight. So there you go, Nord. So right there, I, I positioned him a little bit middle. So I could pick up one more ad. This fight is all about hitting as many ads as possible with every single one of your AoEs. But most importantly, Jaina. So, and then Luke, try to hit as many as you can because you want <clears throat> you want that debuff because applying a debuff, especially if you have Vision Stone, is what is going to uh, allow you to pump out even higher damage numbers. So at this point, let's see, look at I'm missing an ad there. I couldn't hit one ad from Jaina. Now she can hit them all. So now the ads are properly positioned. So I said that Nord is right to the right of the boss and then he's going to go uh, horizontally uh, back and forth. Because you're going to see when Nord goes, he's going to pick up the majority of the ads by going back and forth this way, uh, horizontally to the boss. If you go this way, if you go south, you're going to just get the south ads. If you go north, you're just going to get the north ads. You want to go east-west with Nord. And then it's just, uh, once you get all the ads positioned, it's just about... <laughs> it's just about uh, rinse and repeat, right? Doing everything exactly the same, res to Jaina, alting everybody, and then uh, with, with you see there, see how I'm positioning Nord to try to get the most adds possible? So now he's going to be in the middle. He's right in the middle of the, of the north pack and the south pack of adds, and actually now he is properly positioned. Now he can go east-west. And other than Nord uh, moving sideways and uh, going back and forth in each different time, the rest is exactly the same. Alt or uh, AoE, as many ads as you can. How much time we got? A minute? Kind of boring now. And that's it. That's really the strategy of the fight. This is going to get you the best numbers. I don't think I've seen um, a better strategy. Uh, the only thing that's going to get you higher numbers than what you're going to see me getting is if you, if you have higher evolutions or higher or better substats on your gear. Uh, my Luke is just a mortal zero. My Jaina is a mortal one. My Nord is a mortal one, and my Felvia is maxed. So if you got higher uh, evolutions on your Jaina, you're gonna do a whole lot more damage. If you got a lot of better substats on her, you got higher attack values on her, you're gonna do more damage. If you got a, if you got a higher evolved Solar Flare as your uh, left side prototype, you're gonna do more damage. That's about it. So we could kind of fast forward now. Because it's just Jaina alt, Jaina alt, Jaina alt. Actually, I'll move my head right now just so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at the damage meter. Like, w Falvia who? Uh, Luke who? Like, even Nord is doing maybe a third of Jaina's damage. Uh, so this is the Jaina fight. If you don't have Jaina, Immortal, X30, you're just going to have to uh, be uh, satisfied with the numbers that you get. But yeah, uh, if you leave Jaina on auto, like you could, you could run this on auto, but then Nord's just going to be trying to ult the boss the whole time, and you're going to be getting subpar numbers. But you're still going to be getting good numbers. And you see Rez, now he's up top there. He's underneath my camera, but he's up there where he shouldn't be. But at least now I have the ads focused on Falvia and Nord. Now, 
Falvi is not going to die, so these adds actually don't do a whole lot of damage. The majority of the damage you're going to be taking from this fight is from the recurring poison that goes out. Um, if, uh, a, a, but but my Falvia, like there's 10 seconds left, and you see she's got about probably about 20% of her health left. So she's in no danger. And remember, Jane, or, uh, Falvia is uh, assisting every single AoE. Let's we'll see if she does it here with Nord. Plus, you're getting all the lightning procs as well uh, with from Nord's uh, energy synergies. And there we go. What did we get for... Uh, ooh, look at that. We got 39 million. So uh, I've seen as high numbers as 50, 50, 5, 0 million. Uh, but that was with uh, an Immortal 5 uh, Nord, an Immortal 5 Janna, an Immortal 5 Luke, and a maxed Solar Flare. So keep that in mind. Uh, I'd say that, uh, you know, 40 is the benchmark, I'd say, for the average, even though I can't hit it. I could probably rerun this a few times, maybe do a little bit better, shuffle some gear around, get a little bit better numbers, but eh, that's that's the number to shoot for. So that is the strategy on how to do this fight. Now I'm going to show you the team setup, or the gear, sorry. Is this it? Yeah, this is it. So this is the this is how I geared all these heroes. Yeah, and we even got some sound effects. So he's running, and this is a... I, I scrolled down because I want you to see... This is important uh, for your res. So res, in more and more game modes, we've uh, discovered that he benefits very, very, very greatly. Yeah, very much. He, he benefits very, very much from increased speed in order to get his alts out there faster. So he is in an unleashed set and a Zephyr set, right? This is a pure speed set. Show me. And the reason why it's an Unleashed is because if you don't know Gluttony, which is the other uh, speed set, uh, you can't get uh, attack speed uh, substats on Gluttony. You can only get it on the Unleashed set. So defense, normally I would say you want HP hands, but um, he's beefy enough. Defense works too. Right? There's an attack speed on that one. And then attack speed boots. Right? So I think it was HP head, defense hands, attack speed boots. And then look for attack uh, attack speed substats on the top pieces. Nord, he's running his normal set. He's running Marauder and and Sun Signet. Uh, crit rate 90%, crit damage 45%. Right, attack uh, or crit rate hands, attack helm, attack boots. And he's X30. Uh, Rez was X20. Jaina, you've probably seen this before. Surge set, Sun Signet set. Crit rate hands, accuracy helm, attack boots. She is 80% crit rate, and I think she was sitting around 40% crit damage, and she is also X30. Luke, surge set, right? This is a pure attack build. Attack hands, attack head, attack boots. Crit rate, crit damage don't matter. You just want to pump up that attack number, and he's 30, X30 as well. And then last but not least, Falvia. She is in a full overload set because you can run her, because of her, her kit, you can run her with a, a little bit lower crit rate. And she I think she gets it from her exclusive. She, she gets 30% crit rate from her exclusive uh, weapon. So she's right, way, way, way up there in um, in a full overload set. She can hit all the, all the good numbers. So that's the gearing of the team. That's the strategy on how to do the fight. Go get them, guys. Go get them. Um, one other thing I have to say that's very important is that you can get even better numbers. Like, if you want to get that 50 million or 45 million, you need Bugmaster gear, which drops from the Thundercliffs. I, sadly, I don't have any Bugmaster gear that works for uh, high crit um, attacking character, like Nord and Jaina. I don't have good sets for them. I could maybe make one for Luke, but you really saw that if you don't get a Bugmaster set on your Jaina and your Nord... Those are the people, the two or your two heroes that are going to be doing the majority of your damage. Uh, you really got to get it on them. The other ones you can kind of leave because really that's going to be marginal upgrades because you saw how pitiful their damage was. So if you want even more damage, try to find Bugmaster sets, but you're going to need pieces with really high crit rate, crit damage, attacks, uh, substats, and primaries. Right. So there it is. That's the fight, or that's the whole fight. That's the tips and tricks. If you guys have anything to add. Um, I guess, uh, remember prototypes, Solar Flare is the best, but it has to be near maxed. And then Vision Stone, if it's maxed, if it's not, then uh, Flowing Rune is going to be your baby. And then your two best other prototypes, Grace Commander, use the best Grace you got. 
Um, keep in mind the positioning of Nord. You want the ads to be all positioned in a straight line so that Jaina can get all of them. If you can't do that, repeat, reset it. It's really beneficial. You're, you're just wasting your time if you don't do that. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, the word of the day is going to be, um, it's actually going to be uh, imposter imposter and the reason why is because this says spider king's lair but this uh this uh boss obviously has some uh, female genitalia so uh they're lying to us so the word of the day is imposter put that down in the comments and i'll know you uh, made it to the end and you enjoyed this video so uh yeah that's about it so till next time ladies and gentlemen cheers peace bye bye